Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to Smile to Jannah. How are you guys doing? How's the family? Job okay? Yeah? Yeah? Alright, now we're done with the formalities, let's begin. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> As you guys know, we've got a new Prime Minister. Yeah, that's right. Her name is Theresa May. Not June or July, May. <laughs> I know it's a bad joke. And I'm okay with it. So what happened to the previous Prime Minister? Let me break it down for you very simply. People didn't listen to him with regards to Brexit, so he quit. Did I miss anything out? Did I miss anything out? Yeah, I think that's it. So the new Prime Minister, huh? exciting isn't it? <laughs> but I don't remember voting for her. Are we supposed to vote for them? But democracy isn't it? Maybe we just got distracted with the new Pokemon Go game, you know? That's been, you know, hitting the news like a lot. Maybe we just slept through it. To be fair, there was an election of sorts, but it was amongst the Conservative Party. They got to choose. Hmm. Does that count? I'm gonna go with yes, so we can move on. Hopefully, the very least, because of our interaction with Muslims and stuff like that, as per her previous job, hopefully she understands that this extremist thing is not just Muslims. I mean, you know, anybody who's worth any credibility understands that, you know, it's not just a Muslim thing, you know. It's obvious from the evidence that the most serious and widespread form of extremism we need to confront is Islamist extremism. Okay then. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Let's move past that bit. Let's, let's, let's see what she's kind of, let's see what she's about when it comes to wars and stuff. You can't really have a Prime Minister who loves wars and stuff because it just doesn't work like that. In 2003, she voted for the war in Iraq. Hey, 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 hey. Cut the judgment, yeah? <laughs> Mistakes happen. Maybe, you know, she, she was thinking about something else and she voted and maybe she made a mistake. In 2010, she voted for the war in Afghanistan. Hey! <laughs> She's human, yeah? Don't judge her. Maybe she made another mistake. Maybe she wasn't paying attention or maybe, you know, her dog died or, or something. In 2011, she voted for the war in Libya. <sighs> okay, now it's just getting difficult to defend her. In 2014, she voted for the war in Syria. Okay, that's just getting ridiculous now, mate. <laughs> hey, let's look at the bright side. At least she didn't get Islamophobe of the year or something. <gasps> what? That's a real thing. And she got it as well. I mean, she's just appointed Boris Johnson as our foreign secretary. Do you know how important a foreign secretary is? Like, he's the one who deals with all these foreign issues. He's very important when it comes to keeping relations with other countries so you don't get wars. So here, you got a guy who just... He doesn't like brushing his hair. And people vote for him just because he's a funny guy. Are we okay with having someone like that dealing with our foreign affairs? Like, the guy's gonna turn up in means looking like that. One man. I mean, let's 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 look on the positive side. Yeah, let's take something positive from this. At least you're still alive. You could have been dead, but you're not. You're alive. That's that is the positive you can take from this. Yeah, let's just pray for our country. <sighs> what a conclusion, mate. Right. What do I tell them? Are you peaceful? They ask.